Barros Real Estate Solutions recently published that home prices in Washington will continue to grow with an estimated appreciation rate of 4.2% annually. Buyer confidence is up. Interest rates are still really low, but there's a threat of them rising. So buyers feel like now is a great time to lock it in. But new construction and resale can't keep up with our growth. So we have more buyers than sellers as a stereotype. Um, and sellers are really encouraged because they have potential for m multiple offer situations. A problem with not having enough homes on the market compared to the number of people buying them leads to very high closing prices and quick closing dates on homes that do become available. I wanted to find something that I didn't really have to put a lot of money into and it seemed like a lot of the properties were either overpriced or there was just too much work that was needed to make it you know, the way I picture it. Pullman's real estate market is similar to a game of Monopoly. In the beginning, the market has tons of available homes as players don't necessarily have a ton of money. However, later in the game, players get more funds and eventually all the homes become bought immediately upon a landing on them. Pullman houses also get bought quickly in today's market. It's difficult for people to get out of rent and uh, into, a, into buying a home because the prices here are substantially higher. A balanced real estate market would have around a five to six month supply of homes for sale. Since January of 2018, most markets across Washington have less than a two month supply of homes for sale. Jesse Maywald, Monroe News 8.